Hello and welcome to today, today's episode of Top Steel. I'm that sophisticated guy, and today we're taking a look at the Turismo Classic. This car was recently added into the game about half ten, half past ten today, and we're going to be taking a look at it. As you can see, it's a pretty nice car, based on the Ferrari F40 with some, maybe some elements from the F50. I'm not too sure. But it doesn't look too shabby now, does it? It's all classic, all inspired by a classic car. Got pop-up headlamps, got some nice wing mirrors, tail lights, quite good. And apologies for the dirt on the car, because the weather hasn't really been kind to us today. But you can pick this up for some quite decent money. The price is 705 thousand dollars give or take yep seven hundred five thousand dollars for a car that really does look more bollocks now the price of this car is seven hundred five thousand dollars as you can see here uh, it looks very good on its page with a quite a nice description so please take time to read that but now we're going to return to the car and see what it's all about so performance wise the car is quite quick we're going to do a little bit of a start here I can barely see but yeah, we're going quite quick. I think this car might actually be faster than the Infernus Classic. I'm not too sure about that. This one's currently unmodified, so we might modify it later on. I don't have very much money to spend on it. But hey, it's definitely worth its money. It's got some decent performance, some nice features. What more could you ask for, really? So we're in LS Customs at the moment, and I'm going to check out all the customizability that this car has to offer. So we've got a lightweight stock front bumper, classic front bumper, racer front, front bumper with a splitter, there's another one with a splitter as well, GT bumper, and a GT front bumper with carbon. So as the exhaust go, there's not really much of a choice to be honest, they all look very similar. Uh, I think I might have this one. Yeah, that definitely this one. Which so you can get the hood with stripe. <laughs> it is worth noting I've just changed the the uh, secondary colour to frost white as you can see the, you can get the stripe across the car it doesn't go all the way around unfortunately but that exchanges its colour with the wing mirrors so vented hood with stripe, racer hood, racer hood with stripe, GT hood and GT hood with stripe you can get all these uh, I think I prefer maybe this one or the GT hood The oh, that's quite expensive. Let's we'll stick with the racer hood for now, and we'll change the colour in a moment. Get okay, sun strips. I personally think that the primary colour will suit the best. Although you can use a secondary colour if you like. Uh, skirts, secondary colour, and whatnot. You also get the uh, spoilers right here. As you can see, there's some with uh, secondary colour added. I think that one looks you know, nice, the GT wing. Uh, but you can exchange them for various different colours. Sport wing, isn't that exactly the same as no? Slightly different. Okay, I suppose it's a GT wing for me. Again, it's your choice what you go for with this car. Uh, all that's left now is just to respray and then we'll check out wheels. 
The wheels on this car are already pretty good, so I might leave them as they are, but you can see the colours. I'll probably change that to ignore the white uh, wing mirrors. Black? Am I a metallic? Yes, I am. Silver might be a good idea for this. Oh, that looks very striking, actually. Bit of a standard colour. That's also quite nice. Reds is more for a uh, reds and more for a Ferrari kind of look. So if you want to go for that, then please do. Orange again, not too bad, not too bad. Yellow, hmm. y yeah, I think yellow would be a good choice. Do yellow, not really. Race yellow, most likely. Uh, pretty good colour. Greens, I don't think go with this car. Blues, mm, probably yes. Surf blue is not bad. And yeah, so it's up to you which colour you like. I think I prefer the Formula Red. That's kind of like a Ferrari red sort of colour. Very basic. Uh, interior colour you can actually change. I think I'll go for a cream interior or bleach brown, cream, cream. Yeah, we'll go with that. And for wheels, I'd maybe suggest keeping them as they are. Although there is, there are some that look a little bit like that. Yeah, those ones. So the muscle wheels, the five star ones in chrome look very nice, but you can choose whichever one you like. Personally, I'll just keep it like that. Engine, oh, engine block upgrade, okay. So it looks like you can upgrade the, uh, well, upgrade, change the colour of the engine from primary and secondary. So it's good. And then engine upgrade, standard stuff. Not really anything more to say about this, but yeah, that's the Grotty Turismo Classic. And now for my overall rating of the car. Overall, I rate it a 9 out of 10, preferably because of its good looks. It's, it's a nice addition to the Sports Classics cl category. It's got good choice of upgrades. It's also got quite a good top speed, we've already shown how it performs. And yeah, I think it's a good contender in most races, especially since it doesn't suffer from the same problem as the Turismo, not the Turismo, the Infernus Classic did. This one can actually turn left properly, as you just saw. And right turning, same, same on both sides. So yeah, if you don't... And if you want to get this car to add to your collection, or just to participate in races, then I'd say it's an overall good choice. This is me signing off, the Turismo Classic.